Hello, this is Jared from Commit to Quality, and in this video we'll cover adding Git to an existing project. As setup, all I've done is I've created a folder with a text text documenting site called Subscribe. Now this could be anything. You could have a Playwright repository, a Cypress repository that you want to uh, add Git to. It'd be the same thing. I've just simplified it by adding just a simple text document in. So. How do we add git to this folder? Well, let's open up git bash and I need to go first to the folder. So I'm already in playground. I just need to change directory into an existing folder, which is the name of my folder, which can be a little bit confusing. Now, all I need to do is git space init, and this will add git to this repository for me. So now if you remember from last video, I can do a ls hyphen a and we can see now this cd this git for this dot git folder so if i cd i'm going to git and do ls dash a we can see all of this information and this dot git folder is basically what controls everything for us to say that this is a git repository and it manages all the tracking and handles everything without that uh, folder we wouldn't have git on our project so i'm just going to go back a second to go to uh, the master branch. We can see here that I'm on the master branch and if I do a git status it also tells us we're on branch master. Once again like the previous video we have no commits yet and uh, we have some untracked files because all the all the files inside this folder now are being picked up by git and what I can do is add those. So I'm going to say git add. If you remember from the last video, I can do dot, which will add everything to the stage. If I say git status, we can now see how changes are ready to commit. So I'm just going to do git commit dash m, which means to add an inline message. And here we can say uh, add in all files. Brilliant. If I do a git status now, we can see we have nothing left to commit and we're in a state of being able to add more documents, change the documents, whatever we want, and git will track everything from this point onwards. Thanks for watching, and in the next video, we'll cover a simple repository in GitHub.